Well, hey guys, welcome back to Southern Adventures. Today we're heading out Deep Creek Trail. Hey guys, welcome back to Sun Adventures. So today we're heading out Deep Creek Trails. Now there's actually a series of three waterfalls down this trail. Uh, two are directly up the trail and it actually goes into a five mile loop back down to the other waterfall. Now, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna travel up to see the two, water, the two first waterfalls and then we're gonna head back in the opposite direction instead of doing the five mile loop we can go back uh, two and a half miles and get to the other waterfall. You know, it's an absolutely beautiful day for this. The last trip I took, it was extremely foggy, rainy. Um, it got some great pictures out there though, so I'm definitely not upset about that trip. All right, here we go. And we're gonna head to the right side. First part of this trail is just a little bit uphill, it seems like. Now, I believe we're going to be uh, leveling out here pretty soon. Genie Wink Falls. I think that's how you say that. As you can see, the trail is extremely wide. Very well maintained. And there's a lot of folks out here today. I was surprised when I came up in the parking lot. And there's probably uh, 20 or 25 cars. It is really beautiful out here with all the fall leaves. All right, we'll head on up the trail. Right now, all we've done is kind of looped around ourselves. Looks like I can already see and hear one of the waterfalls. A short little hike to this one. Let's see, where are we at? We are Deep Creek Horse Trail, and you can see it goes down to the waterfall here. So we'll head on down there and take some pictures. All right, little stairs here. Trail area is slick. Pretty neat, there's a little bridge down here that uh, goes right in front of the waterfalls. There's some folks be in the waterfall, so I'm just gonna sit back here for a minute. We'll get set and take some pictures. All right, guys, now we're gonna head back down and get on the actual Deep Creek Trail and go hit those other two waterfalls I was talking about. I didn't realize heading to the, the opposite side first, but so we went ahead and did that. Um, that was a pretty short hike, but it was all kind of uphill. Uh, so now we're gonna track back downhill, go find that other first head of that trail, that deep creek trail, and hit those two other waterfalls. Hey guys, don't forget to hit that like button if you're liking the video you see today. And if you wanna stay updated, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I go out just about every week on these little hiking trips. Uh, a lot of times I go out to waterfalls, uh, other times, I'll do uh, tech reviews on mainly just outdoor stuff. And uh, haven't here lately, but I've got a few things planned on uh, some new drone footage coming up as well. Okay guys, now we're back on the Deep Creek Trail and we're gonna hit two waterfalls up through here. And it looks like the Indian Creek Falls is gonna be the furthest, almost one mile. And if you did notice, the sign did say no pets. So I guess it's not a pet friendly area. Um, I guess that's mainly because there's a lot of horseback riding through here and maybe they just don't want 
uh, it, you know, pests to spook horses or vice versa. You can see the creek that we're following along there. Like I said, there's quite a few folks out here today. The other trail I was on, like I said, it's pretty much steep uphill climb on that one. This one is extremely flat. I really don't see much of an incline at all. And that first set of waterfalls should not be too far up this trail. Here is a loop back to the Jenny Wank Falls that we were just at. And if you look here, Tom Branch Falls, point two of a mile. So right at about a quarter mile. That creek is absolutely as clear as can be. Sun's heading right down on it. Check this out. And that's absolutely beautiful. Now, I personally am not a big fishing person, but I would gather to say this is a great area to come and fish. I can literally see fish <laughs> right now in the creek. That's awesome. So far again, flat trail, no real, no real up, upward descent at all. Uh, it's a little slick in spots where the water runs across from, as you can see, these little rocks and stuff beside me. A little mud there. Yeah, people I was reading online said they've sighted bear out here and all kinds of stuff. So, and there is a lot of people out here, so I wouldn't suspect anything like that would uh, show up today, but you never know. Be cool to catch that on video. All right, guys, we stumbled up on Tom Branch Falls before I even knew it because it's actually on the side of the creek. And I just happened to start noticing the sign of these benches out here in front of me. Check this out. Now, they're not extremely raging today, but I'm sure if it's rained quite a bit, these would look awesome. All right. We'll set this little camera down and we're going to take some pictures again. All right, so next we're heading up to Indian Creek Falls. Man, I think I got some really, really good pictures of that one little set of falls there. I had to wait for the sun to stop shining through though because it's kind of messing with my pictures. <laughs> That's always a problem out here. You get the sun shining through the trees. It can look really pretty if the sun, if it just shows the rays coming through. But when it's full on sunshine, you're trying to take a, a slow shot like that, a slow shutter speed. Um, it, it really just blows out the image. It's hard to, to take one without putting, you know, an expensive filter on it. So as you can see, there's a, there's little benches and stuff up here everywhere. Places where you can just sit down eat lunch, take in the nature. I love this time of season. Leaves on the ground, all the different colors in the trees. I only got about another week of this left where every bit of these leaves are gonna be out of the trees. It looks like up here just a ways we're gonna be going across a small bridge. Already seeing some people fishing. Uh, mainly right underneath this bridge is the first set that I've seen, but I kind of suspect it'd be a good spot out here. Turn around so you can see this bridge a little bit. Seems like everything out here is made for about the size of a car. Now that bridge is sturdy enough that you could literally drive across it. Another little deep area down here. Another little bench. Almost like a set of waterfalls over there by themselves. I think these other set of falls, this last set by far is probably gonna be one of the biggest. I don't think it's real, it's real tall, but I think it's got 
quite a bit of water flow past several people coming up through here. They all looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm talking to a camera. I don't know, maybe I am. I just uh, enjoy recording all this for you guys, for the kids, that when they don't get to come out with me, see these areas. It is beautiful out here today. Yeah, so these sets of falls, I've been wanting to come out to for a while, but um, pretty, pretty far away from the house. This was about an hour and 40 minute drive for me today. We're out here in Bryson, North Carolina, Bryson City. Um, I mean, if you're in this area or if you're just a short distance away, it is one absolutely perfect spot to come to. Seen a lot of joggers out here, like I said, fishing, horseback riding. Um, you know, these nature trails, see the falls. Uh, it's just, it's an amazing area to come out to. Big recreational center as well as you're coming in. Um, plenty of places for picnicking, those type of things for a, a great day outing. Um, come out here with your kids, your loved ones. Let's see here. Going across another little bridge here. Let's see, Indian Creek Falls is where we want to go. And it is to the right, y'all. You can see this is a little bit more of a hike. A little bit more of an uphill descent. But it didn't say it was real far up. So, it said like 200 feet. Okay. Yep. All right, Indian Creek Falls, and I can see it, guys. Man. Yeah. Say, this is probably the prettiest set yet. And we saved it for last. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely I would go the route that I did so you can save this one for last. Cause this is uh, absolutely the best set of falls that I've seen. The other two are probably really, really good falls as well. As long as it's been raining some. So I'm gonna get set up again, take some pictures. And listen, if you wanna see those pictures at full resolution, Please visit my Southern Adventures photography webpage. I'll link that in the description below, but that's where I post all the high resolution images. That I also put in the video, but if you just want to see a lot better quality, go to that webpage and they'll be on there for you. I'm going to go down here and kind of skip across these rocks. So I want to get a full on angle of that. It doesn't look too bad. Not right now, anyway. Watch me fall and bust my butt <clears throat> like I normally do. Yep. It's kind of cool how these trees have grown up and dirt and stuff has just kind of made its way into it, made a little land for them. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for today. Appreciate y'all coming along with me. This is definitely gonna be one of my top rated places to come if you're close by or near the area. We're gonna head on back to the truck and listen, until next time, get out there and create your own adventure.